Hello everyone, today we'll be finding out which manga panel is the best. Let's get started. Alright, right away we have Naruto vs One Piece. By the way, we're going based off how the manga looks, not how, which manga is better. So based off these two panels, I guess I would have to say Naruto, because look at how much details here. You can see all the different buildings. In One Piece, you just see Luffy turning into second gear. So yeah, Naruto is going to win this round. Here we have Slime Isekai versus Made in Abyss. I, I feel like Made in Abyss has to win here. Slime Isekai is just him looking in the trees. Made in Abyss, look at all the detail here. So yeah, I'm gonna choose Made in Abyss. Tokyo Ghoul versus another Made in Abyss. Okay, this, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have to go with Tokyo Ghoul here. Even though this looks amazing, this Tokyo Ghoul panel is so iconic that I just have to pick it. One Punch Man versus Tensei Shitara Dai Nana Oji Datanode. Okay, here I'm gonna have to go with One Punch Man. Not, not because I don't want to read that name again, but because when I saw this panel in the manga, I was blown away. But One Punch Man, this panel just looks really nice. Shoke Sarita Kenjawa Leech versus Made in Abyss again. Another Made in Abyss panel. There's a lot of Made in Abyss. I guess the manga is really nice looking. All right, here I'm going to have to go with uh, the left one. It's just I just like how the stars look. Another One Punch Man versus Black Clover. This One Punch Man panel was also really good. They have a few in the manga where it's colored and they, they just look great. I could see why they decided to color them. That's why both of the One Punch Mans were colored. I guess it just had to be colored to, to give us the full uh, view of what's happening. Here's another One Punch Man versus Naruto. I don't know. You might be getting upset that I'm choosing a bunch of One Punch Man here, but let's be honest. Look at all the detail here compared to Naruto. This, it's, they're in the cave, so they have to, it's a little bit detailed, but here One Punch Man it has so much detail. Here we have One Piece versus Miyaruko chan. And I'm going to say this Miyaruko chan panel looks way better than the One Piece. I know One Piece does have really good panels, but right now it's mostly just showing off like characters, so. I'd have to choose Mia Ruko-chan. Ooh, these are two really good panels right here. We have Slime Isekai versus Mob Psycho, but I'm gonna have to go with Mob Psycho. I think this is nearing the end of the manga. The anime just finished where he kind of went full psycho. It does show how epic it is and how scary Mob can be. Here we have Dragon Ball versus One Punch Man. This One Punch Man, it kind of looks just like a photograph and not someone that drew it. It looks more like Photoshop. This Dragon Ball Z where he's using all his energy, that, that one does go hard, so I'm not to choose Dragon Ball Z here. Now we got another One Punch Man versus Slime Isekai. I'm gonna be honest, uh, One Punch Man is destroying Slime Isekai with these. This one just looks amazing. This one, the Slime Isekai one, it doesn't have that much detail, it's just, um, it's just the slime guy, you know? So here, I'm gonna have to pick One Punch Man. Another Miyaruko chan, but it's versus Jujutsu Kaisen now. Th both of these go really hard. I did watch the anime for Miyaruko chan. I didn't read the manga. I, I was, I did not think it, I did not know it was drawn this well. But here I'm gonna have to go with Jujutsu Kaisen. The, the tracks, it, just everything in the scenery here looks amazing. Here we have Naruto again versus Black Clover. This Black Clover panel goes so hard i'm just gonna have to choose this one now we have one piece versus one piece i guess we just have to choose which one piece panel is better and right away i see the right one has more detail sometimes when the panels are too crowded it's hard to like get to look harder to see what's going on so but here you can clearly see in the right one it's way easier to see what's going on so i'm gonna choose the the right side Ooh, now we have attack on titan versus my hero academia and I'm gonna be honest, this Attack on Titan panel goes hard. Just seeing Eren coming with his whole army, I'm gonna have to choose that one. Here we got Mashal versus Tensei Shitara Dai Nana Oji Dotanoda again. Honestly, that one looks really good, so I'm gonna have to choose that one. Okay, now we're on round 16, so we're gonna see all of them again. We have Jujutsu Kaisen versus this Attack on Titan panel. I'm gonna be honest, this Attack on Titan panel is much better than this Jujutsu Kaisen panel, so I'm gonna have to go with that one. 
Oh, here we go. We have One Punch Man versus this one. So I can already see right away it's going to be One Punch Man. Now we have Tokyo Ghoul versus Miyaruko Chan. So again, like if I saw this panel, it makes me feel better than if I saw this one. So I'm going to have to go with Tokyo Ghoul here. Mob Psycho 100 versus Naruto. Here, I'm definitely going to have to go with Mob Psycho. Just the, how it's drawn is really good. Now we have Black Clover versus One Punch Man. Honestly, this Black Clover panel is much better than this One Punch Man. Even though this one's colored, this one looks way more sinister, so I'm gonna have to go with Black Clover. Now we have One Piece versus Made in Abyss. Comparing these two panels, this Made in Abyss panel is really good. So I'm gonna have to go with this one. Here we have Dragon Ball versus One Punch Man. I really like this One Punch Man panel. You just see Saitama with all distress, so I'm gonna have to go with that one. For this one, it's One Punch Man versus Tensei Shitara. I feel like I'm gonna have to go with Tensei Shitara here. Okay, we're on round of eight now. It's Black Clover versus One Punch Man. I'm gonna be honest, I really like this One Punch Man panel, so I'm gonna have to choose that one. Black Clover had a great run, but here One Punch Man had a great run with this panel, but I'm gonna have to go with this one. Okay, Attack on Titan versus Mob Psycho 100. This is a really hard one, but I feel like the Attack on Titan one's better. Mob Psycho, it's, it's it's cool and all, but there's like not enough. Attack on Titan, you get to see everything that's about to go down. So I'm gonna have to choose that one. And here we have Tensei Shitara versus Made in Abyss. I feel like if this one wasn't colored, it'd still be better than Made in Abyss. So I'm gonna have to go with Tensei Shitara. Now, round of four. We have One Punch Man versus Attack on Titan. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to go with Attack on Titan here. It's just drawn super well, and you can see how scary that can be one punch man there's so much detail but it's like you you, you unless you read it you have no idea what's about to happen attack and titan you can clearly see what's gonna go down so for that reason i'm gonna choose attack on titan now we have tokyo ghoul versus tensei shitara okay tokyo ghoul had a great run but this is this tensei shitara panel is so good so i'm gonna have to choose that one but in the final round I think I'm gonna have to go with Attack on Titan. All right, let's see how our results compared with everyone else's that took this. Ooh, they said the One Punch Man panel would be the best, and then the second one was this Naruto one. I probably would have said that one, but we didn't have it in this tournament. Let's see where they put the Attack on Titan one. Okay, the, everyone else put the Attack on Titan one in 16th, but I really like that panel. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you want me to do something similar, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Okay, bye.